Okay, let's try this coffee with almond nog. Oh my god, it's super good. Good morning. Hi, it has been a hot minute. I know. So I decided to come on here and finally make a video and talk to you guys and just be like, hey, this is where I've been. Um, part of why there's no video up is because I have not had the internet. So if you remember, or maybe, actually, I guess I didn't actually put up a video. I moved. Um, and so I moved on uh, November 5th. So it would have been like almost the end of week one, not not even, but um, so I would have had the Saturday and the Sunday of week one. So I moved on the Saturday um, and our fridge at our new place, uh, we needed to get it replaced. And so it wasn't going to be replaced until the Sunday, which is fine. It was going to be one day without a fridge. And I didn't get a replacement for a week. So I lived for a solid week without a refrigerator. And let me just tell you, it's tough. Um, yeah, it sucks a lot. Then when I didn't get the fridge, I couldn't meal prep, I couldn't buy food. Um, a lot of my food from my old fridge went bad. Um, so I decided, you know what, no, I'm putting this on hold until my life at least calms down. Like, this is just adding more stress, like, okay. And um, I was on course for three days where they actually prepared, or they, they pro why can I think of this morning? They provided, um, a continental breakfast and then uh, a lunch and snacks and they were really awesome they always made sure they were gluten-free vegan meals for me um, and a few weeks ago that would have actually stressed me out because I was being very obsessive over macros and I don't know why um, and I actually want to talk about that a little bit more um, later uh, but um, yeah so basically I've been rambling but I just want to say that um, I started fresh this week, so the 14th to the 20th of November is week one of the six-week cut, um, and six weeks actually takes me till December 24th, so it's, it's probably going to be a five-week cut. My plan right now is that I'm not going to train while I'm at home at Christmas. I actually am going to give myself a break. Um, I train every time I'm there. I go, I go to the gym. I might take, I might try to fit in one or two workouts, but I always like stress about working out um, and fitting it in and go to the gym and everything. And um, last year I did that for the first week. I was being pretty obsessive about it. And then the second week I um, did not go to the gym. I didn't gain weight and because I was not binge eating. And secondly, I had a lot more time with my parents and with my niece and nephew. So, um, but anyway, so I am, today's my compressed, I'm off. I'm actually heading to the gym really soon. Um, so I will take you through that with me. And then, uh, yeah, I want to come back and talk a little bit more about like some food issues and whatnot and how I'm going to continue on with this cut. Um, this morning uh, for my pre-workout, I'm obviously having coffee. I had a bowl of multi-green Cheerios and I'm going to have a banana. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go smash some legs. <laughs> anyway, I will uh, keep you guys in the loop and um, bring you along type thing as long as it's not busy. And uh, yeah, and then, and then nothing. I will talk to you guys later. As you can see, based on how I look, the fact that I'm still in a robe, I just got up like uh, 30 minutes ago, so not braining so well this morning. But uh, I will definitely chat with you later and I really hope you enjoy the rest of this video, okay? Bye guys. I decided to start my day off with one of my absolute favorites, the reverse hack squat. This wasn't actually in my programming for today, or well, squats weren't, um, as my focus was sumo deadlifts and the hip thrusters. But one of the reasons I like to uh, throw in a few sets of these is that it gets my glutes fired and I can feel them and engage them so much more in my other exercises. So if you are someone who finds it difficult to engage your glutes in, let's say, hip thrusters, I would highly recommend doing this. Slow, deep, and controlled. Hilariously enough, 
these weren't actually supposed to be in the Pope programming today, but I was struggling and accidentally looked at the wrong page in my book. Um, but either way, it's all good and hamstrings don't get hit enough. And the main event, the sumo deadlift. I was feeling very strong today. Uh, mind you, I only got up to 185 pounds, but for me, ever since I sprained my wrist, I have struggled to pull any kind of weight. And um, I don't show it in the clips here, but I actually took my brace off completely and lifted raw for 185, which is a huge accomplishment and without any pain. So um, after the sumo deadlifts, I was supposed to do um, kickbacks, but I was wiped because I ended up doing uh, additional sets and reps because I felt strong, not even mad about it. And this is no surprise for thrusters. I said it once, I'll say it again. If you want to grow your butt, hit thrusters, kids. Engage that ass. I'm back. Okay, so since I've been a bit of a degenerate and I haven't um, been uploading videos, I thought I'm gonna give you the special treatment and give you a little bit of everything in one video. Um, and I'm really, really happy I was finally able to deadlift, sumo deadlift, 185. Um, a, it's because of my strength that's going back up, but also um, after I sprained my wrist, um, obviously a pushing movement was I couldn't do and I didn't train upper body, but with uh, deadlifts, um, it affected my grip. So um, I was struck because like you're still engaging these muscles. So I wasn't able to a grip the bar very well, and uh, just in general, the weight pulling down on my wrist um, would make it ache. So I'm um, finally getting up to that, and uh, you'll see in the you see or saw in the footage that um, I did it without straps. Ramble over. As you can see, I'm in my new kitchen. Um, it's a bit of a mess right now. So we don't have as much counter space as we did before. Um, so we have these sort of exposed um, shelving. And right now it's just, it's a little bit messy because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Um, but for now, this is how it is. Also, I don't have, I don't have, my t I don't have a dining room table anymore or a kitchen table um, because the one from before wasn't gonna fit. So I still need to figure that out. But honestly, I'm just taking it one day, one week at a time, I'm not concerned. But I went to the grocery store after the gym and I wanted to show you what I got. So this is my grocery haul for the week. Um, I have been digging the hell out of mushrooms. So I picked up a container of Cremini's and one of Baby King uh, oyster mushrooms. I also picked up this, it's red and yellow beets cut up really small. It's like pre-done. There's also a lemon oil sauce in there, but I don't, I won't use that. I just basically, I want to peel and cut up beets to be honest. And <laughs> this makes my life so much easier. Uh, okay, so for a while I was doing veggie ground and I was really loving it, um, but I decided I need to break. So I'm back to my low fat uh, Blue Menu PC tofu. I picked up four of these packages. Also, I got, these need to go in the freezer. Um, it's frozen asparagus, uh, because I want to make cream of asparagus soup, but asparagus is expensive, especially right now. It's like $6.50 or something per bunch. Nah. So I got these, I think they were $3.33 a bag. Um, so they're on sale, so I got three bags. Cucumber, some white onions. I got this jalapeno allegro cheese. Tastes delicious. Um, I find the, the just the original one tasteless and hard and rubbery, but this one's actually really, really good. And the macros on this cheese though is amazing. 30 grams, one gram of fat, 
two carbs and 11 protein. So yes, the spicy Thai chili sauce, as well as some sriracha. This is a baby container. Yogurt. Um, I, okay, I don't like yogurt at all actually. I've always hated it, but I'm gonna try to see if I can like convince myself to like it. All blackberries were on sale, so I got those. Almond nog, because I'm basic and I'm so excited. Um, I actually hate eggnog. I remember when I was a kid, my dad would be all over it. Mm -mm, no thank you, but this like holiday slash whatever nog is actually great. I like to have it in my coffee. Earlier I touched on it just briefly and I wanted to say that um, I realized this past week or past two weeks that I've developed some weird food issues. During prep I had to be pretty strict with my food, actually very strict. Um, you know, I count everything down to the gram and um, I st there are things that I'm like, oh, it doesn't, yes, it fits my macros, but it's not worth it, right? Like they were just in my head, they weren't worth it. For a reason, I've continued that mindset. So I actually picked up bananas for the first time in months last week, uh, and I just ate a banana. And before, like, it was honestly, like, it was kind of driving me crazy. I'm like, that's so high in carbs. Yes, it is, it is high in carbs and whatnot, but A, my food's higher, so I have the carbs to play with, but also, like, how bad is it that I'm afraid of a banana? Okay, no, that's, that is not flexibility. That's actually throwing me back to those weird um, food aversions I had, you know, back in the day where I'd avoid food groups and whatnot because I was worried about getting fat. I enjoy flavorful foods. I enjoy just making a recipe and, you know, and, and eating. And it was getting complicated because I was stressing out over macros, how much was in here, how much onion did I use, how much peppers did I use? And I was like, whoa, okay, this is not competition prep. Um, if you are someone who in and out of off season, you track everything down to the gram and that works for you, by all means, please go ahead and do so. But for me, I don't like to just eat steamed broccoli, a blob of protein and some rice or potato in a carb that's whatever. Sometimes I want to make, you know, a stuffed pepper with a variety of veggies and beans and not have to measure every single ingredient. Just guesstimate. It's a healthy food. Um, so anyway, yeah, I have been uh, very actively choosing foods that I like and that are good for me, but that for whatever reason I've been avoiding. Um, so yeah, just kind of trying to do that again. I've definitely been eating very healthy foods over the past week and a half, past week, um, really healthy and I've been loving it. Um, but it's because I've been allowing myself to have, like I said, these foods that were like off limits, like apples and bananas and, and I don't know, like rice. It's just really weird and I'm not, not proud of it, but it happened. Um, and, uh. Yeah, so just trying to do that. I obviously will be continuing with the cut and the next video I'll talk more about that. Um, I just kind of quickly wanted to say that. So I will be following a macro slash intuitive eating approach through the rest of this cut and honestly up until I start uh, prepping for a show again. Um, just enjoying my life, you know? I mean, I want to stay within a certain body fat range and, and whatnot, but at the same time, like, okay, competing is not the only thing that matters. My body fat is not the only thing that matters. And I just, like I said, I took a few steps in the direction that I've come from and I don't want to be there. So if you are someone who is struggling at all with that, you know, you're avoiding complete food groups because fat or carbs or whatever, do not do that. Um, yeah, there are good and bad times maybe to be picking them, but like enjoy life, enjoy food. But um, I will chat with you all later. Bye guys.